Hey, you went flying baby spur. Hey, you went dry around the world. Hey, you went brown like squirrel. Hey, you went shitting nail pearls. Hey, you went Rolls Royce car. Hey, you went Rolls Royce truck. Oh, you want to wall it all my holes. Oh, you want to line it all up. Hey, I'm gonna play. Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jenna Cuomo. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, and don't forget to leave a comment down below. Subscribe so you don't miss out on any new videos that I post. So as you can see, I'm on camera with a bare face because today's video is going to be me showing you guys my winter routine makeup. It's not totally different from like my summer routine or any other time of the year, but I do a little tad differences here and there. So I'm just gonna show you guys how I do it and I hope you guys enjoy. I'm also low-key in a rush so we're gonna try to do this real quick so first things first is i'm going to prime and the primer i use is the smashbox photo finish primer i just got this and i'm liking it so far primers that i usually use are like mattifying primers this is like a smooth and blurring primer but it kind of like does the same thing i have like combination skin like my skin can get oily and I try to like balance that as much as I can throughout the day so this primer is perfect for me oh and don't forget to moisturize your face I already did all of that right now my skin is doing kind of okay like I had a pimple here and I could already tell it's going to leave a dark spot and I have a couple pimples here that are kind of going away but that's kind of my fault like I was slacking on my skincare they just came out of it Next, I'm going to use this L'Oreal Lumi Glotion in the color 904, which I think is the deepest color. And this is just to give me some extra glowiness under my makeup. Since it's not the summertime, I don't have like that natural like glow that the sun gives me. So I just try to give like artificial glow. I kind of put it on like primer. Yeah, I'm going to rub it in with my hands. And this just gives me like an extra layer of like glowy skin and you really want that especially in the winter because your skin can dry out and all of that and i really don't want that yeah look, oh my god it's already doing the job next i'm gonna do my brows i always go in with my anastasia beverly hills dip pomade and ebony and i'm just going to fill them in nothing special honestly i might skip this part because it's gonna take too long okay my brows are done they're a little uneven but i don't have time to be fixing them right now so we're just gonna move on next i'm gonna be using my nars foundation this is the soft matte foundation in medium deep five and it's a little dark for me right now but it's fine because when i do my like concealers and stuff my contour is not gonna look dark i just do some dots of this not too much and yeah, we're just gonna blend this perfect okay so now i'm gonna go in with my trusty born this way concealer and sand actually no first i'm gonna go in with my la girl pro concealer in cool tan just to give myself a nice concealer base I'm gonna blend this in it's not gonna look too much of like a highlight just because it's gonna like blend in to my skin as you can see like it doesn't look too much of a highlight but i'm just brightening up the area so that when i put the Too faced concealer it melts better into the contour and stuff and make sure to bring that concealer down the bridge of your nose and up on your eye like that 
Okay, so now that that first layer of concealer is on and your skin is looking flawless, and then we're gonna go in with contour. And I love this contour. I've been using it ever since I got it. I've been using it for my contour. This is the Fenty Matchstick in Espresso. I love it so much. It's so creamy, so buttery. I like to place it above the line. So you see my line is right there. I place it above that line. My line is right here. Like that. And I do that because it makes the contour more like even right now i'd even blend it out and you could tell what it just did like it just chills out your cheeks way better than putting it in the actual line of your contour so i blend up coming towards my mouth and then i blend in going away up just look at that just look at that like <laughs> just look at that up in up in and the reason i like to do my first highlight then contour then second highlight is because as you can see when i do my contour the method i do by brushing up it goes into the concealer and it cuts off the concealer a little more than I would like so I like to do this step second and then the third step would be my Too Faced concealer and I'm just gonna focus that right there and right there so blend out the edges first I like to connect the concealers that are right here so my uh, upper lip concealer and my under eye concealer are gonna connect and then here I'm going to blend up into the inner corner down and then out and I'm gonna do the same thing try to make a line on my nose straight line down connect the upper lip and then out and you see how it just beautifully blends with the contour that's what you want and I'm just gonna do the same on this side you're gonna go in down Connect the upper lip and out. And then that contour that went up a little too high is now corrected and blended. Now the fun part, after we do that, I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier Translucent Honey Setting Powder and we're gonna set this face definitely has like a yellow tint to it and i feel like especially in the winter you're gonna want a yellow tint um setting powder just because you don't want to look washed out so you want to make sure you have some type of like yellow in your setting powder this actually has a little bit of mix of uh sasha buttercup as well to do my setting powder i use my beauty blender puff it's a little dirty right now but this is what i use to put on my setting powder love it love it love it to death like i bring this everywhere i go like after i finish with this video and i leave my house this is coming with me because oh my god this works wonders like if you have a little bit of oil in this coming through you just mm -mm 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 -mm, gone and then this side is low-key like i don't even know like how to explain it like if you have laugh lines or like wrinkles under your eyes and it's been a couple hours and it's like oily and you just dab it on this side it's gonna blend it out and then just go on this side and it's gonna powder it out like oh my god you need this like i know they have like those dupes like that you can get from amazon or something but i don't think the dupes have this side on it i don't know maybe they do but you need this before we set i'm gonna make sure to get a beauty blender blend out any creases get those nose creases i'm gonna dab the excess off i'm gonna go right in i go up first into the inner corner 
and then I drag it to the side. <laughs> and then I keep blending it until I'm satisfied and there's no patchiness. And some of the excess, I'm just gonna go ahead and do here. I'm going to set my contour. I'm gonna go in with the Juvia's Place bronze in deep dark and I'm going to set my contour with the top color and then to set like the rest of the face I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal infallible oh it's called dark fonce this is what it looks like and I'm just gonna set the rest of my face which is basically my jawline <laughs> and my neck then I'm gonna go in with some blush and my favorite favorite blush right now or for a minute has been Juvia's Place blush volume 5 I love this blush both of them are so freaking cute. Like right now, I think I want the lighter pink. So I'm going to go in here. And it's very pigmented. So I love it. And I try to keep my blush kind of like higher on my cheekbone. Like right there. Yeah. And I put it into the outer corner of my eye as well. And I like a lot of blush. I can't lie, I do like a lot of blush. And I feel like bringing it to the outer corners of your eyes just makes it pop a little bit more. And it makes you look more doll-like. Like, like do not I look like a doll? I feel like it makes you look like a doll. And I do put some on the tip of my nose. Not too much, just a little bit. Just to get like that winter cold look that everybody's been doing. I did that in the summer too. Like, I look... <laughs> I'll be doing that winter cold look in the summer as well. So so now we are about done and I'm going to set my makeup. I'm going to be using my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Setting Spray. And from the last time I told you guys about this, I was confused on how to use it. And I was asking you guys like for help because I was mixing this and my MAC Fix Plus. But I just realized like you just got to use it by itself, you know, and it'll work fine. Like I love the way this makes my makeup look. It does, however, like I do feel find that I do need to like do a little bit more touch-ups than if I were just using this alone my mac fix plus matte is that bitch like you will be matte for the whole night but this I do have to touch up a little bit more but I still love the way it makes my skin looks like skin well it makes my makeup look like skin so I don't mind it oh shit where's my fan I need the fan hold on yeah because the way I'll be spraying this I need something to dry it really quickly before it messes up my makeup My makeup looks so good. Okay, I'm gonna make sure to put my mole back in the middle of my nose. And I'm gonna add a mole right there where that pimple I told you guys about that I think is going to cause discoloration. I just like to add that mole right there because it kind of camouflages it. For lashes, I use this tray that I got from Amazon. And I'm going to mix two different styles. There are four different styles in here. And I'm going to mix the top left and the bottom right. I'm just going to put my lashes on and then do bottom mascara and then I'll be right back. So your girl is back with lashes. And now I'm just going to do my lippy. I'm going to use my NYX lip pencil in Espresso. And I got this new lip gloss from Bath & Body Works. I didn't even know. Bath and Body Works makes lip gloss, but this lip gloss is the truth. Like, 
it's the truth it's so glossy and it has like this mint flavor let me just show you guys this is the lip gloss it's so cute that's the end of this video this is how i do my makeup in the winter and this face is going to eat all night because of the products that i use if you're looking for any new products everything will be linked down below if you want to get the face that i did today just follow the steps and you will i love this makeup look i've really come a long way in my makeup game i remember doing my makeup in high school look nothing like this so it definitely takes practice and that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoy it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video